Royal Navy vs. the Slave Traders, Enforcing Abolition at Sea 1808-1898 by Bernard Edwards is a meticulously researched and insightful examination of the Royal Navy's role in enforcing the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade during the 19th century. Edwards delves into the complexities of this pivotal historical period, shedding light on the multifaceted challenges faced by the Royal Navy in its mission to eradicate the brutal and dehumanizing slave trade. Through a combination of primary sources, first-hand accounts, and historical records, Edwards constructs a comprehensive narrative that underscores the Royal Navy's evolving strategies, triumphs, and setbacks in its pursuit of this noble goal. One of the central themes that emerges from Edwards' work is the shifting geopolitical landscape during the 19th century, which directly influenced the Royal Navy's approach to combating the slave trade. Edwards highlights the critical role of diplomacy and international agreements in shaping the Navy's actions. The author discusses how treaties such as the 1815 Treaty of Paris and the 1839 Quintuple Treaty obligated signatory nations to cooperate in the suppression of the slave trade. These diplomatic efforts, though not always effective in practice, underscored the global consensus against the continuation of the inhumane trade in human beings. Edward successfully illustrates how the Royal Navy navigated the complexities of international relations while still adhering to its mission. Furthermore, Edwards emphasizes the Navy's evolving tactics and strategies in its campaign against the slave trade. The book elucidates the Royal Navy's transition from mere observation to direct intervention. Edwards provides a thorough analysis of the naval blockade of Africa's west coast, outlining the challenges and successes of this method. He discusses the use of naval patrols to intercept slave ships and the crucial role of naval bases like Freetown in Sierra Leone as hubs for anti-slavery operations. Edwards also delves into the practical aspects of shipboard life for naval personnel engaged in this mission, painting a vivid picture of the difficulties and dangers they faced. Edwards pays careful attention to the personal stories of naval officers and crew members involved in the anti-slavery effort, humanizing the historical narrative. He highlights the dedication of individuals such as Captain Edward Denman and Admiral Frederick William Beechey, who displayed remarkable commitment to the cause. These personal anecdotes serve to make the book engaging and relatable, allowing readers to connect with the individuals who played a pivotal role in this momentous struggle. In addition to discussing the Royal Navy's successes, Edwards does not shy away from examining the limitations and challenges it encountered. He explores the vastness of the Atlantic Ocean, which made it difficult to patrol effectively. Edwards also touches upon the issue of compensation for captured slave ships, which sometimes led to conflicts of interest and questions of fairness. By presenting both the triumphs and difficulties faced by the Royal Navy, Edwards provides a balanced and nuanced perspective on the abolitionist mission. The author also underscores the broader implications of the Royal Navy's efforts in suppressing the slave trade. Edwards argues persuasively that the Navy's actions not only contributed to the decline of the transatlantic slave trade but also influenced global perceptions of slavery as a morally reprehensible institution. The book demonstrates how the Royal Navy's commitment to this cause resonated with the broader British and international public, shaping public opinion and contributing to the eventual abolition of slavery in the British Empire. Royal Navy vs. the Slave Traders is an essential contribution to the scholarship of abolitionism and the history of the transatlantic slave trade. Bernard Edwards' meticulous research and engaging narrative style make this book accessible to both scholars and general readers. By examining the Royal Navy's multifaceted approach to enforcing abolition at sea, Edwards offers a comprehensive and nuanced understanding of this critical chapter in history. 
The book is a testament to the tireless efforts of those who sought to eradicate one of the darkest aspects of human history and provides valuable insights into the complexities of pursuing justice on a global scale. In a world still grappling with issues of human trafficking and exploitation, Edwards' work serves as a reminder of the importance of steadfast commitment to the cause of human rights and the power of collective action.